You know, a week from now, we'd be lying on the beach in Australia. <laughs> You've got it wrong, Mike. I'll be lying on the beach. You'll be indoors pounding away on your typewriter. That's what you reckon. <laughs> hey, you don't think I've pushed you too fast, do you? I mean, have you got any regrets? Oh. I'd have said so. <laughs> and anyway, if we ever wanted to come back, there's always a job for me at Relton. And this is as far as we go. Sorry? Ah. Come on. Let's leave them to it. <laughs> it's gonna seem strange. Tarrant without you. Well, I've never exactly been a permanent fixture, have I? Don't fall in the water now. Why? Tired? Oh dear, do I look it? <laughs> no. No, you look wonderful. If I put in all the hours you have this week, I'd be whacked. It's worth it, though. You deserve success, Jan. Thank you, Ken. And thank you for dinner. It was lovely. We ought to do it more often. Exchange, progress reports, that sort of thing. Yes, well, knowing you, Ken, it wouldn't end there. If I said I'd stop wanting you, I'd be lying. Well, I also enjoy your company. You're the only woman I can talk to where I feel I can, oh, just be myself. I miss that, you know. You still know how to flatter, Ken. I also know it's about time I walked you back to your hotel. As we go over to the mustering area, the boats are circling and waiting. Only seconds to go now before the start. And yes, the yellow flag is up, bringing the boats under the marshal's orders. There's the Norwegian team, newcomers to the competition. They're turning into the start. And already, there's the green there flag. Go. Get off. It might be helpful if I told you that we're from the fraud squad. Fraud squad? Good Lord, what's this all about? Oh, we've called to see you on two matters. The one concerning yourself, well, the popular term is insider dealing. Ah, now you're referring to my shares in McLean Leisure? Exactly, sir. Ah, no, no, there you've made a mistake, Inspector. You see, I bought those shares in McLean Leisure before my company, Freer Holdings, became involved. I see. And once they were involved, did you then declare your interest? Well... Uh, well... Well, I hope you've got your dates right, sir. Well, yes, yes, of course I have. And there is this other matter of your aiding and abetting Mr. Freer. Aiding and abetting? To defraud your shareholders. We do have all the facts, sir. Mr. Freer purchased a golf club in Guernsey via a nominee company, Diacra Holdings, for £5 million, which he promptly sold to McLean Leisure for £10 million, which you arranged. We're rather anxious to catch up with Mr. Freer. Perhaps you can tell us where he is. I think perhaps I'd better phone my solicitor. In that case, sir, I ought to caution you. 
You do not have to say anything unless you wish to do so. But what you say may be given in heaven. Ah, merci. Oh, ça y est. C'est parfait, merci. Andrew, you miss your plane for the States. Maybe I could go now, do you? You're not safe to be left on your own. No, I'd be. Come on, love. Let's go. Miss Avril Roth. So the committee overruled your objection. I'm the winner. If there's one person in the world I could really do without, it's you, Ken. You didn't believe all that rubbish about us going to business, did you? It was just an excuse to get rid of Sarah. No more than I believed that ridiculous story about the Frenchman. Ah, oh, well, you should have done. Because he's real. I bought him out. Leisure Cruise is expanding. Sarah is not the only one with shares in Rilt. I've beaten you! I beat you here, and I'll beat you in the boardroom! I've beaten you. I've beaten you all. <laughs> yeah! 